Hello and welcome to Thursday Night Therapy, where five friends, separated by time and space, are brought together by the magic of D&D for some desperately needed therapeutic escapism. So, welcome to uh, welcome to the stream. We are only wanting to remind you that we have switched our Instagram account uh, to the new TNT Nerds handle, uh, and you can now find us there as well as all the other socials by searching for TNT Nerds. And other than reminding you that we have a podcast where you can listen to all the past episodes, uh, we didn't really have anything to announce, so I think we'll just get straight on with it. Last time on Thursday Night Therapy, Torin found the missing dagger was in fact in Devi's pocket. And the two of them then had a brief conversation about the true nature of Miracle, while Lanny had a conversation with the ship's resident rats, who agreed to help defend the ship if the need ever arose. During an otherwise uneventful afternoon of sailing the following day, Albert appeared on deck with, the, with the young Dutch in his clutches, throwing him before the captain, claiming that he had stolen from Krupp's store. After a little deliberation between Captain Lanny and his officers, it was decided Dutch would be let off with a stern warning, that if it were ever to happen again, a finger would be taken as punishment. Dutch was relieved that he was allowed to leave with all of his body parts. The owl bear, however, was not so pleased and did not hold back his opinion from the captain. On his ship, back in the day, it would have been three lashes at the mast. With the matter settled, however, the Bud Blood Wake's journey continued and late in the afternoon, Thez spotted a ship. They slowly closed distance until it could be identified as a Ramadumi Shuna, probably a merchant at the edge of the shipping lanes. The order was given and the blood wake made chase. And with a combination of prayer, persuasion and a skillful display of aerial acrobatics by Desi amidst the rigging, they were able to close the distance to a mere 100 feet. At which point, two large red-coloured creatures were released from a cage on, on board the Rahadumi deck, which took flight and immediately turned towards the blood wake. And that is where we would normally pick up this week. But I'm about to do something which actually breaks my normal rules. Uh. I missed something last week, <laughs> and I only picked up on it while re-listening re to last week's episode today. So I am going to have to make a slight alteration to past events. But very, very slight indeed, and I think the only thing it would potentially change is perhaps the memory of what happened. Ooh. The thing that I missed, or to be more precise, when 
Torin talked about cutting her hand with the blade, with the coin in the captain's quarters. I, for some reason, thought she was considering this and then didn't actually go through with it. But, uh, Nate, correct me if I'm wrong, that was, in fact, your desired action. As far as I remember, I used the dagger, the twin-bladed dagger, to cut my hand as I prayed in the exactly. Yes. And the wisdom save was to, what you then did afterwards was uh, like a self-inflicted wisdom save, I believe. The wisdom save was to see whether I would belt the dagger to myself and wear it rather than replace it. Exactly. For some reason, it, it, I don't know why, but while we were playing I thought you were thinking about doing it and then you didn't and that wisdom save was part of it I don't know why as I said listening again today I realised my mistake what I'm going to say now though is while you were chasing the ship last last week you stepped forward and I think stood on the aft you made another prayer another small blood sacrifice as you do Cutting your hand, coins in hand. Yes. I'm going to say that when you did this... Sorry, let's jump back a sec. No, no, when you did this, you pulled out the dagger to make your sacrifice again. And as you did, you reached for the Scrimshaw dagger in your belt but as you brought it up to your hand and looked at it you realised hang on this is the this is the golden dagger that I had in the captain's quarters Ooh. I thought I left it there but I guess I did bring it with me oh and as you go to cut the palm of your hand, the memory of what happened in that in that room only an hour ago come back to you. As you slice the palm of your hand, the usual sharp pain is felt. But that is immediately followed by almost a sharp intake of breath in the immediate space around you and a sudden, warm, pleasant feeling. And as you look at the wound on your hand, although it clearly has released blood onto the coins, it has also seemed to immediately heal somewhat. And although it hasn't healed completely, it is not the open wound that you would expect from a fresh cut. Oh, what have you done? I but... don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you make your prayer and your small blood sacrifice, just as it happened last week, and you leave the coins on the aft and replace the dagger back into its place on your belt. The twin-bladed dagger rather than my scrimshaw dagger. The dagger to which you are now attuned to. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm going to need if, to get if some... If it is cursed, then you are now cursed. <laughs> I'm going to that... need to get some stats from you later. And that's where we'll pick up this week. Well, son of a fuck. Okay. <laughs> so... Last time, where we left off, you had closed the distance between the Bloodwake and the Rahadumishuna to a mere 100 feet. Close enough almost to catch it. And from this distance, you can now see on the deck of a ship some sort of metal construction, a cage of sorts, standing large and squarely in the center of the deck. It is hardly opened, and two reddish-coloured creatures spring forth 
and crawl up into the sky and turn towards the blood wake. I would like you all to roll initiative, please. Well, <laughs> Oh, natural 20 on the initiative. Oh, nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's a 7 for the win. Is, is there a little whoopee at the end of that little cheer there? Uh, Lanny's 9 and I am... Excellent, a number 5 for the Dexterous Rogue. Holy sh... Oh, oh no! I mean... It's not metagamey to uh, react to what I've just seen. <laughs> it's the no, name of that thing. We, we can see you, them coming towards us. The, the player is allowed to react, but... <laughs> fucking manticores! Devi is oblivious. Yeah. The player is scared. No, the, character <laughs> is, uh, the, the character is... It's a flying fucking lion! Yeah, I mean, you're 100 feet away, so... Is that a flying fucking thing? Uh, you, you are close enough to make things out, and as as Des has quite I, I, bluntly I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm probably still up in the crow's nest, so I probably will see it first as well. Yeah, uh, as you so bluntly put it, it 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 does kind of look like a very large lion with wings. Okay. So you are a uh, hundred feet from the uh, prey vessel. You will need at this speed roughly two turns to reach the ship. And uh, Desi, it's your turn first. Oh, hi. The, uh, so uh, the flying lines are currently just above the Rahodumi ship, so they are also about 100 feet away from you. Oh, you say? That's within Eldritch Blasting range. <laughs> Which is, um, coincidentally, what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah, um... Uh, I'm gonna split the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uncross the streams, and I'm gonna send a blast against each one individually. Okay. One. So, what am I True doing? Who, who, who am I? Oh yeah, there we go. Right. So, first one. Say this is the one on the left. All oh, right. No. Okay. So attack. Attack one is one on the left. Attack two is one on the right. Doesn't matter because they're both sixteen. <laughs> sixteen to hit. Yes. Uh, but your range is 120, right? Yes. It's so it's it's not with disadvantage. I don't believe so. I think Eldritch Blast is just a flat. Yeah, Eldritch Blast is just. Yeah, you have a 120 foot range. Then they both hit. There you go. So six force damage yes. on one and seven force damage on the other. Okay. First blood. <laughs> Thank you, Elmo. Um, <laughs> Two one. Uh, I believe that's your turn. That is my turn. Oh, no, uh, movement. I'm going to climb down from the uh, crow's nest. Uh, onto deck. Onto deck, yes. Okay, excellent. So, the two flying lions now. Um, it's both their turns after another. So, they will, are going to start making their way towards you. They can fly 50 feet, so they basically halve the distance between uh, the two ships somewhere in the middle. They're coming at roughly a straight line, but they seem to be arcing around slightly. And the first one um, seems to almost raise its tail, and then from which you probably won't be able to see at this distance. But it begins firing large, straight, porcupine-like strikes, uh, spikes from its tail. And they are going to aim for the person currently steering the ship, and I believe that's you, Lanny. Oh, my God. Yep. So, the first one fires three times. Uh -oh. oh, shit. So, I believe the first two will miss. Yep. But the second one... Uh, sorry, the third one was a natural, natural 20. 20 in there. Two natural yes. 20s. So, uh, that will be 10 plus the dice. So that's 18 points of piercing damage to you, Lenny. So two of these spikes thud and twang into the wood around you. And you look left and right as they pierce and protrude from the deck. And as you turn, the third one 
hits you squarely in the chest. As I said, it's long and thin. It's almost like an arrow, but seems to be made of some sort of carapace or nail-like uh, substance. Eesh. And the second one is going to do exactly the same. Oof. So, at the best I can do is a 16, which I believe does not hit you. Miss, miss, sorry, what? Not. Say it loud, say it proud, Lally. Does not, does not hit. Does not hit. So as you clutch your hand up and pull out the one spike that has hit you in the chest, again, three more of these spikes thud into the wood around you. Luckily, though, not hitting you. The one that hit brings that he has taken them. Lanny just kind of ducks behind the wheel. They all get over. Okay. That does bring us to you. Now, bear in mind, you are currently steering the ship. Yeah, I will use my action to steer the ship. Then could I please have the... uh, uh, I I need the roll to uh, see how well you steer your ship. And I'm... It was a wisdom save plus you for proficiency because you are proficient with sailing ships. Wisdom check rather than wisdom save. Yeah. It'll be the same for Uh, Lanny. Oh, well, wisdom. uh, Yeah, so with my wisdom and my proficiency, yeah, plus five, so 13. Okay. And I was going to be very mean and say, can I roll that at disadvantage, please? Because you just got hit critically in the chest with a tail spike. Uh, Plus 13. Even better. Okay. 13, though, it's enough to hold your course. And, and that um, is what I do. Excellent. That brings us to Torin. Yes, it does. Okay, how high are they flying off the surface of the water? Um, I think they're going to be just slightly higher than the ships themselves. And I think a sailing ship is a about god how high are they Ooh. i'm just gonna say 60 feet okay they're 60 feet up all right uh but yeah they're 60 feet up and 50 away yeah horizontally i don't know what that is in total but i don't care <laughs> trigonometry yeah fuck that yeah that, that thing they said you, you, they said you would need in school, and we were like, no, you'll never use that in real life. <laughs> Technically, D&D, D&D isn't D&D. real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I'm working on, say, a 70-foot range, uh, I can do that. I can do that. Right. Uh... I'm actually going to ignore the big flying things. Uh, I am going to do what I did when we first attacked a ship, which is extend both of my hands and send a bolt of black lightning straight at the mast of the ship to disable it. I have a hundred foot uh, distance on my lightning bolt. Yep, and it's uh, 100 feet away. So I believe I have to make a dexterity saving throw, right? Yes. Okay, which for a ship is minus two. (laughs) Beautiful. It is 12. Uh, What do I have to make? Uh, You have to make a 16 at this level. No! You do not. Which means lightning bolt level three. So I cast it at base level. 27 oh. points of damage Yeesh. blasting from my hands directly into the mast. <laughs> okay. There is a flash of light. All eyes that are currently open are blinded for yes, for a brief moment. There is almost like an explosion on the uh, enemy ship. And um, followed by a 
loud and horrendous cracking sound, and you see the main mast tilt and slowly start to fall. But what happens quicker than that is the immediate um, decrease of speed of the ship as the sails of, on the main mast begin to turn and crumble in on themselves. Um, at which point the main mast does start to completely fall like a felled tree, and the blood wake now it, it, it's almost almost as if you've uh, gained speed because there is now a sudden uh, sudden decrease in the space between the two ships. Okay. Uh, and as a bonus action, I am going to cry. Uh, <laughs> That's a free action. <laughs> crying is a free action. Um, okay. Uh, I don't have anything to do as a bonus action, so I'm just going to shout to the crew. Uh, Mass is disabled! All hands on deck! We're going to board! If you've got bows, shoot those fuckers down! And that's me. Okay. Evie? Um... As Devi is looking at the what Torin has just done and what Torin's just said, but also looking at these two flying things in the sky, as he is readying his longbow, he's just going to... Um, right, he's already standing next to Lanny, so he doesn't have to say it loud. He'll just say... Uh, <clears throat> trying to think of how to say this in like six seconds. Uh, okay, yeah. I was just uh, kind of lean into Lanny and go, probably best not to get too close to that boat while we're fighting these things off. Maybe make a circle until they're gone. And then, yeah. as I um, as I finish saying that, I've been slowly drawing back the bowstring and taking aim at one of these things. Because I don't know, I mean, I know, but he doesn't know what these are yet. Um, so he's just going to take aim at one of them and um, uh, take a second uh, with a bonus action. He's going to study its flight movements, how it evades if anyone's shooting at it yet and stuff like that. And he's going to use infight insightful fighting. So I'd need a deception check from one of them, whichever it is closest to my my range, I guess. Um, uh huh. I mean, so you can just say the one on the left or on. on yeah, the, right. okay, the one on the left then easier. Uh, I'm making an insight check, which is a twenty-two I'm against a deception. I don't think I can do this. Fourteen. No, I have a okay, minus okay. one. So. So if this hits, it is a sneak attack damage for the next minute. Um, okay, here we go. I am firing my long bow. That's a lot of dice. Ugh, it's a nine to hit. Ugh. No. Not hit, I'm afraid. That's a shame. Uh, okay, so that was... Uh, let's call that my, my ranging shot. I'm like just testing the, the wind speed and like, you know... Still not quite used to this bow yet. I don't have proficiency with it yet, so that's to be expected. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Um, what I might do, um, looking at the map that we're on, are they coming from um, upwards or from downwards when we look at the map? Are they on my side of the ship or...? No, it, they're coming mostly from the screen right. Screen right, okay. So you are, of course, chasing ah, okay. the ship. But if anything, they are uh, on the. Yeah, they are more to the upper side of the screen than to the lower. So they're making like a. There's a slight arc uh, uh, to okay. their uh, to their flight path. Oh, um, righty. So they're going to be coming in more from the top than the okay. bottom. So if anything, you are on the safer side, if that's what you meant. Okay, well, I was more not wanting to shoot through people or things, so what I might do, because also missing that shot, the sails might have been a factor in that case, because they're right in front of me. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to move down to here. Um, so I've got a better kind of better shot. Uh, and that will end my turn. Okay. That brings us to the top of the round. So I said that the ship would be closing at a speed of about 50 feet around. Uh, but this has now been greatly increased due to the fact that they have lost their mast and most of their uh, forward propulsion. So the blood wake gains now rapidly up to the Rahadumi Shuna, and you're actually very, very close, and you're literally just... The nose of the ship has virtually reached um, the stern of the enemy mm -hmm. ship. Yes. So, so are the the manticores now are what fifty feet away? Did you say? Yeah, I mean, because of your speed, they were they're like intercepting you, so they're going to be basically right above you now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's it's a little bit tricky when you have things both moving at high speeds, but taking turns yeah. to move. It's always going to be a little bit. Janky. So, are they, they near? They're... Are they near any either of the masts? I'm gonna. I was gonna say that they're probably above the ship, but more to the uh, more to the front of the ship. So, would they be near here? I mean, potentially, yeah. I mean, okay. Let me just. Okay, you know what? Let's. Um... I do have them there, so I'm just going to make them visible. That's where I pictured them. Wow. You are one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> but they're high up in the air, right? They're higher than the ship, yeah. Right. Are they, like, mast high? No, I, I, when <laughs> Torrent asked, they, 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 they're flying high enough that they are over the, the height of the, the mast. They're not going to sail into the, into the sails. But, have... but, but. but. How much higher? You're thinking you want to jump on them, right? Maybe. <laughs> just, just, I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna tell you this, DM, is that if I, if I do step of the wind, I get a bonus action, so I can dash as bonus action, and my jump distance is doubled. Okay, but you need to get up the mast. Yeah, that's that's where the dash comes in. Yeah, that's fifty feet. Mhm. Mm I said, I think I said before they were at sixty feet. <laughs> Which is ten above the the saying the mast is fifty, so you need to climb fifty feet. <laughs> which can you what speed can you climb at? That's a good question actually. What is a climb speed? Exactly. I think I climb think is usually like half speed, isn't it? Like yeah, everything exactly. else. Yeah, exactly. I I can't it's... spell. Uh, so. Climb speed and swim speed are usually half of normal. Um, but I'm a monk though. And I have. Uh... You don't have the ability to run up vertical surfaces yet, do you? Not yet. I've got an arm of movement. It eventually lets me traverse some surfaces. Look, never mind. I'm holding things up. Let's just shoot with an Eldritch Blast and be done with it. Um... Uh, yeah, okay. Eldritch Blast. Split between both again. So, one of the left misses, second is, uh, the one on the right is 22 to hit, which is 6 force damage. Realised I got them the wrong way around because Devi wanted to shoot the one on the left. Uh, 6 force damage to the one on the right, okay. Um, and... X. And I'm going to use my bonus action to use, um, Step of the Wind, and I'm going to get up to the top of the this particular mast. I can't do it because it's on a it's on a square. Can you move that far? Uh with um step of the wind, yes. I think. Are you sure? Because no. fifty oh, yeah, feet of climbing you would need a hundred feet of movement to climb fifty feet. I have ninety. Yeah. With dash. You, you have to it's <laughs> twenty to get to the mast. Very true. A hundred. So it's, that's hundred and twenty feet of movement. Okay, I'll get halfway up the mast then. Okay. 
I'm in the rigging. Uh, that's going to bring us to their turn. If you hold Alt, you can then place yourself in that center point if you wanted to. Ooh. Ah, look at that! Wait, go on. Hey, he moved again. Sorry, I was actually trying to move Conquibar because you've trodden on him as you were climbing <laughs> up the rigging. You that, literally that, stood on his head while you that, were... That, actually, that scans, doesn't it, really? Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of Makes accurate. sense. So, uh, it's it's now the Manticore's turn. It's this one's turn, and he is going to... Going to continue his flight on a slight arc around to this point. And he is going to continue in his mission. Uh, Lanny? Uh oh. Oh shit. Oof. Uh, 12 and 6 will miss, but I believe a 21 will hit you. It does. Right. That's it 5 points of damage. It's not too bad. Ow. The second of Manticore, almost in formation, they fly as it banks around the main sail. It is also going to aim its spike at you, Lanny, and fire. Oof. Again, I think only one hit, 21, but this time it's 11 points of damage. I will use my stone okay. endurance for that Okay, one. I believe I require a roll. Yes, a d12. Two. Three! <laughs> so I only take eight. Okay. Nice. Damn. What is your AC, actually? Uh, 17. Okay. Because I was going to say, if you're kind of crouching down behind the rail, still steering the ship, you would technically have partial cover, but that only gives you a plus two to AC, so the 21 still would have hit. Yeah. That's cool. That does bring us to you, Lanny, and now you're faced with a choice. You are basically on the very, very arse of the Rahadumi ship. You are under fire. Uh, you have a decision to make. Um, I am actually going for... Hmm? Oh, bye then. <laughs> Rich? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, Not mm. very well. Not very well, dude. You are, you are really cutting out today, dude. Strange. Hold on. Uh, I don't know why. Change anything since I've been on the tool, so... Maybe give your um, if you've got noise suppression, maybe make it a little bit more generous. Let me have a check. <laughs> I honestly okay. don't get this noise suppression, but okay. I think Can you hear me you. any better now at all? A little I mean, bit, yeah. it's okay. A wee not bit. Really it's not worse. <laughs> it's not worse. I honestly don't think it's anything to do with the noise suppression. I think it's just hardware. Oh, dear. It's alright. Um, okay. So, I... I'm in two minds. I think I'm going to... So, the course that ship is on now, are we sailing past or are we sailing towards? the ship, the opposite ship. If you maintain your current course, you're literally going to touch, the nose is going to touch the side of the ship and you're going to you're going to scrape up beside it. Okay. I think Yeah, I'm going to maintain the course I'm on um, for now and as I do so, with the boarding pike I'm going to look, point it up towards the manticore on the left, and I'm going to use Extendo Pike, and I'm going to make two attacks upon it. So, let's just be clear. This does mean you let go of the wheel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And it extends at 20 foot range, so I can hit that manticore with the pike. Yeah, I mean, it's D&D rules, yeah, okay. <laughs> in, Path, in, in Pathfinder, that's not allowed, because you yeah. you, ca- you count diagonal distance differently than horizontal, but... You're not in Pathfinder anymore, boy. Nope. <laughs> However, you are still the um, DM. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I'm not going to change rules on the fly. It's just, Before it's I make my attack... I mean, I'm not even... Good. I'm not even... Do you know, no, sorry, I, I'm going to say... They're sixty foot in the air. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You did say that. Yeah. 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 So they are actually not twenty foot away. They are a lot more. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Um. Okay, uh, I will then. Oh God, I am really stuck. I do know. Um... I will maintain. No, I will. I will steer the ship uh, slightly away from the other ship. My aim is to circle around the other ship. Um, as it's become almost uh, stationary. Um, okay, so you want to swerve to the right enough that you um, do not make it. contact and pass yeah. it cleanly. Okay, yeah. I will need a check from you, please. Okay. A 13 again. Okay. So again, um, um, you're just turning the wheel a few turns just to avoid crashing into the Rahadumi <laughs> ship, and you turn it enough to avoid making contact with it, and you're pretty confident you are now going to clean, uh, sail clean, cleanly past. As a bonus action, because Lanny is very much enraged they can't do anything to these monsters he will rage at the <laughs> ship's wheel i was gonna say are you rage sailing at the wheel <laughs> at the wheel <laughs> just gripping tightly <laughs> it's like an angry driver <laughs> boat rage <laughs> okay is that your turn yeah yeah that brings us to Torin. okay they are 60 feet up. So... If I say that I'm on one of these back squares... I can't get close enough, bollocks. Okay, fine. In that case, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to turn around. Turn around. Uh, and I'm going to look at this manticore, the bottom one. And I'm going to pull out the diamond. And it's going to spin between my hands. And I'm going to look directly at the manticore. And a orb of black lightning is going to shoot out as I cast chromatic orb first level <laughs> against this one with a damage of lightning roll there's a 24 hit that 24 does hit wow with a pitiful damage from 3d8 of 7 oh, man. Ooh. That, and that 6 hurts, dude. that is a horrific amount of damage and not in the way I'd like <laughs> um, just clips it uh, and doesn't do a huge amount of damage clips its wings um, 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna crouch against this rail, knowing that when we get up to this ship, I imagine things are going to be quite annoyed at me. So I'm going to use the edge of our ship as some sort of cover for what I imagine is about to happen. Okay. Is that uh, your turn? That is my turn, yes. Debbie. Hi, it me. Uh, so that Indeed, yeah. one that I have the uh, insightful fighting on, I'm going to take another shot at it. But seeing that it is a lot closer now, I don't want to be craning my neck, so I'm actually going to back up onto the stairs. And I'm going to take my shot. Oh, and that's a critical oh. hit. Natural 20. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's, that's a lot because that's um sneak attack as well yep um Ooh. so uh seven plus four piercing damage uh actually your, actually your crit's yeah. wrong yeah the crit because this is the official crit from D&D beyond so this is not our crit um you can change those uh, Crits. Yeah, okay, so you seven, got I'll, I'll eight. through that another day. I do need seven to. Seven plus eight plus four. Fifteen. Nineteen plus twenty-nine. Twenty thirty-four. Nine. Yeah. Nineteen plus thirty-four. <sighs> Jesus. These what I, I what are these numbers? I don't get this. So it's one d eight plus four is your normal damage, right? Okay, so seven is the normal damage. The crit from the bow is an eight because that's the maximum of the of the mm -hmm. longbow with no modifier. Yeah. Nineteen 15. is the rolled damage for the sneak attack, which 34. you then add four times six for, the for the maximum of crit damage. That's thirty-four, thirty-eight, fifty. I believe that's fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fifty-eight damage on a on a longbow. Holy jeez! And you do multiply the crit as well, yeah. It's not additional damage. What yeah, that's what I just said. You don't add that fifteen. You add what the maximum crit is. Who's my? So I'm, I'm echoing through Lanny really I badly. Think, uh, yeah, I think I think it's his uh, internet that's the problem, not his uh, hardware. But, uh, oh. oh, and he's gone. All right, while he's gone, we can just uh, double check that. So basically, your your normal damage, if it wasn't a crit, would have been twenty six, right? Because seven plus nineteen is twenty six, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So then you, uh, then you add um, eight to it for the longbow. So that's crit. thirty. And then you add thirty four sixes. So twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. 58. Yeah, it's 58. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Boom. Of course, it right in the, le in the left testicle. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I mean, from your... Lanny, you need to, Lally, you need your noise impression back because you've we added that and all the, all the echoes have happened again. Yeah, we're going to have to sort this out before we can do it. Uh, we can't actually hear you, Lanny. All we, all we can hear is... So unless you're underwater, um, I don't think we're hearing what you're saying. Oh. Oh, that was me. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, he's he's not saying anything. That was literally his... That's the, That's our echoes coming through him. Again, uh, I, I'm still not convinced he's not using the onboard mic. Right. <laughs> I'm still not convinced. One day, one day we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> I wanna, I want to hold his laptop in my hand so I can hurt it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Just, we should just... literally test this next week before we start by having him switch between them. So yeah, we actually hear the difference. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm yeah. still not convinced. Although it could, he is just using, a, I think he's just using an old laptop. I don't think it's a particularly good one. Even so, could be a hardware issue. 
Yeah. And it is reliant on the internet of the place that he is in, which could also be awful. I don't know. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes. We, we actually hear you. you and we hear a voice. <laughs> Quiet, but we no, hear nothing. you. Okay. Fine. Do you know what happened? No, I have no idea. I, I'm, it may have just been I caught my uh, lead cable, um, and my headphones, and it's just screwed it up a little bit, but apart uh, from that, no. Maybe it thought it had come out and it switched to the other mic or something. Or, or switched to the the um, computer speakers or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, technical difficulties totally solved. Yes. And we're back in the room. So, uh, Devi, you yes. have just released an arrow. You expertly judge the flight path of this manticore. Your timing, your aim, perfection. Wonderful. You let the arrow fly, and it sinks deeply between the ribs of the manticore. And you hear it screech and squeal, and you know you have almost certainly pierced inner organs. Nice. And it falters in its flight. But it does continue. Oh, fair enough. Ah. Hardy little anchor. All right then. So that brings us to the top of the round. At which point, because you are now basically on top of the enemy ship, I'm going to have to roll some initiatives. Initiatives. <laughs> so is the ship alongside us now? Did 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 Lanny turn it so we're now going alongside it, or are basically, we like yeah. point on? You are okay. you're you're basically alongside it. You're not making contact with it. Um, but as you pass, um, you are going to be in range of uh, potentially of ranged weapons. So uh -huh. just to keep things fair. There we go. So, Des, though, it is... Oh, these are still... None of them are in the initiative order. It's okay. It's cause it, it's cause, no, it's cause, I think it's because they're on, a, on the hidden level when he does it. Yeah, I don't You. I don't think you see them when I see them. Uh, yeah. Des, though, that brings us to you. So is there, like, distance between the two ships? Uh, b barely. Barely. I mean, so, like... if a, so if a person was to like run and jump off the off the end here, they'd better like fall onto the ship below, yeah. I mean, there's like a, a at least a ten foot gap between the ships. It's fine. And bear in mind, oh, you are halfway up the rig. I was gonna say your ship is slightly lower, as it being a slightly smaller ship. Uh, you would normally have to jump up slightly, but as you're on the rigging, it would mean uh, jumping down. It would also mean me having to have you fight on two maps simultaneously. <laughs> that, that's, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm going to be honest, it, it's going to be a pain in the ass for me. Um, what, would, oh, what did you expect to happen? <laughs> I don't expect anything. That would be absolutely a waste of time for me trying to predict what you were going to do for me, because <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> I didn't think you should have assumed that I was going to run, climb up the rigging, run across the mast, and then jump down onto the other ship. I mean, oh, that's, that's, that's like the most obvious thing that could have happened. Yeah. Clearly. Uh, we, we, I mean, we can do it. It will just have to require a bit of animation because the the map I have of the other ship already has your ship next to it. So, um, and we're going to have to switch, switch, <laughs> switch back and forth from the maps. When it's your turn, but I mean, if that's what you really want to do, I I, I don't want to limit your actions due to uh, well like practical. It practical appears that my reasons. brother and uh, Lanny have the uh, the the flying beasties in hand, so um, you know, might as well start proceedings. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, though, it does require you climbing up to the. Uh, the, I don't know what it's called, the cross of the sail. You're going to have to run along mm -hmm. the top, this thin, narrow ledge, yep. and then jump at least 10 feet onto the other, uh, and to land onto the other ship. All right. He's a monk. You you say this like <laughs> it's going to be a problem for him. <laughs> Can uh, you do one... any of that automatically? 
<laughs> well, I mean, I have un un right, so I have un unarmored movement, which speed increases and eventually, quote unquote, event lets me traverse some services without falling as I move. Yeah, now, obviously, that the, the wording suggests that you know I have some 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 balance. We well, know it, it. It does what it says. It increases your speed, yeah. but it does not let you move um, along I mean, anything yeah. without losing balance. So I'm. Yeah. This will require a check. That's what I'm saying. All I right. mean, you're, you're 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 running along something which is narrower than your foot. Yeah, that's fine. And okay. is not completely solid. Huh? So what? Acrobatics? Yes, please. Okay. Watch the watch for the one, everybody. <laughs> Don't say it. Follow the bouncing ball. You say it. It happens. That's uh, Ooh, that nice. twenty-three. That's a bit better. <laughs> okay. I heard so. that. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, I'm going to have you shot. No, it's fine. <laughs> We're going to switch. Well, yeah, we're going to have to switch to a different map now. Uh, oh. Okay, well, said, technically, would the uh, manticores not be above their ship? Yeah, so where we would are you now? not just move the manticores over here with us? And then everyone could be on the same map? I mean, we could... We yeah, could. I mean, I, I, it's just the ship is going to continue sailing past, so the ship isn't going to stay yeah, on the map can, where it currently yeah, is. That. Yeah, I, know, I mean, I can move the ship. So it's it's not it's not a big deal at all. Yeah. I just didn't want to move shit around all the time. So yeah, okay, we can have you all here on this uh, on this map. We're just gonna stay here now, I guess. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We just have to, to uh, theater of the mind. Our yeah. ship moving around it. Mm -hmm. Radicals. To... Yeah, but I'm actually going to get rid of these. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's shitty. Okay, I'm going to grab the ones from the other map because they already have their hit points and stuff missing. Come back here, put them here, and then I'm going to have to add a turn for each of them, which was eleven and twelve. And they were roughly here. I think the one that Debbie just hit was just above him, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this is really janky because of the movement. I was here. But, well, I'm just going to have them here. Yeah, that's fine. You need to add okay. us to, to the turn order on this page as well. Sorry? You need to add us into the turn order on this page as well. Are you not there? I can't uh, see it. They are clearly uh, visible for me. I can, I, see, I, can, I, can, I can see your soldiers in the manticores, but I cannot see us. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, why is that? They're, I, they're literally here. All right. I remember mine was five. Uh, I can see your old ones here, so... <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I just have to go through and change them. So okay. you can see yours now, Des? I can see one, yep. Okay. Please bear with me. I'm just going to have to do this uh, yeah, for each of you fine. in turn quickly. It's all, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good, man. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, I'm f I'm, I'm fine. I said <laughs> before that we started streaming to Troy that uh, I just realized the beer I'm drinking is actually 8%. Yeesh. Well, welcome to my world. I'm on the moonshine again this evening. Hey, don't oh, you? I've got it. Oh. Is this the, last stuff, the same stuff as last time? Mm-hmm. Flavored. Oh, oh yes, but I have learned my lesson. Don't worry. <laughs> you say that. Well, yeah. Do we ever truly learn when something is so I mean, delicious? The thing is, the, the thing is, sober nads had learned his lesson, but as sober yeah, nads the, goes away, no, no, no. Um, the amount of times I've said I've learned my lesson in context to alcohol, and then have then made the same mistake again. No. But I am I'm one of the I'm 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 one of those people who when they get drunk they retain the uh the lessons of sober sober versions of themselves. Um so I have I am very prepared this evening. It's unlikely to be honest. Um I'm pacing myself and I have lots of water on hand, so it's fine. He's he's pacing himself. <laughs> and we're back in the room. 
So, D uh, Desi, you've just landed on the deck. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to put you right there. And actually, if we're... I could just move the ship over, couldn't I? Yep. Yep. I just have to... <laughs> Shoop. <laughs> Shoop. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, I forgot that I have the ship as a separate asset on the map so we can't we can do this it's absolutely fine yes it's fine yes okay right okay so, so desi you land on the ship yes and you do see it is full of other there are sailors on the ship yeah but most of them seem to be unarmed and are purely there for sailing the ship but as you look yeah. up the deck to the stern you see there are armed uh there are armed men who seem to be of different clothing and carrying weapons Lovely. And uh, of course, the manticores <laughs> are high above your head. Yes. Okay, so that was my movement, wasn't it? To get over him. Yeah, but what did you use to. Uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, that was a movement, yeah. Yeah, because it was, it was a, a, a bit more up and then a bit more along and then jumping and all, all that. Yeah, so you that... have like 40 feet, right? I have 45 feet, yes, of, of, okay. of regular movement. Yep, okay. that was your movement. So. Uh, I will uh, land uh, in the um, in the classic superhero three point landing. You know, <laughs> fist down, down on the knees, and I will stand up and brush myself off and say, "Greetings from the Blood Wake." Uh, Captain Skullcrusher sends his regards. Can I convince any of you to give up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the chorus I mean, of I, silence. Yeah, I mean, then, <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting, but uh, oh, no, just, just, uh, just, you know, I, I, at least I can say I tried. Well, actually, f funnily enough, the it's it's the nearest guys to you turn next. So, is that the end of your turn, or no? no I've, I've got bonus actions and actions to get you, mate. Okay, then please oh, go I'll ahead. I want your horses. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> he uh, he is holding a crossbow, and he does seem eager to reply. He does. Um, the funny thing about crossbows, right, is that they tend to work at a distance. So I'm going to use another key point for Step of the Wind. As my bonus action, I am going to move forward. I think there's good. Ooh. Between the two of them. And um, what next? What one's it going to be? And as my action, I'm going to start my Eye of the Storm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that actually, I just remembered. I, 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 um, I wanted to make a token for you for when you do that. If you don't mind, I'm just going to quickly put myself in the an order. I'll roll an in initiative, but I'll correct it. You to... should be there. If it's not there, then I need to do something. Oh yeah, no, it's not there. You can't see it at all. I can only see Des from our crew. Uh, I oh, I Lanny. can see Lanny. Oh it's wait. Right there as well. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's yeah, no, it just scrolled down. Now it wasn't before. It's fine. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I can't okay, tell I what colours are. Oh yes. Is that That's blue? It. What? Is, is uh, he, can, you, can you see an aura around my guy, and is it blue? Well, I can't see any yes. auras. No. Hey. Okay. DM, I'm, I'm guessing you can see it, Sean. I can see it, yes. Okay, that's right. Then. That's, that's the main thing. Right then, uh, that please, is... Please just remind me in the week, and I'll make you... Uh, I'll make, like, a token, which we can attach to your token. Um, in that case, that is my turn. Okay, that brings us to the guy that you just pushed past. He was about to fire his crossbow as you charged into him and ruffled past. Um, he's going to turn and pull out a... Hmm. It says... Mm -hmm. I think it's a cutlass. Turn around. Uh, you just so politely placed yourself in between him and his ally. Yep. <laughs> going to uh, make an attack with advantage. Yep. Oh shit! Oh. Wow, a natural one and a natural twenty. Who could have seen that? Well, <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah. 
Uh, Jesus. It's not a massive amount of damage. It's 11 slashing damage. It's right. a fucking quarter of the wizard's health. <laughs> Where does ah. my, turn order, my turn order keeps disappearing. I don't know why. Yeah, it's weird. Did that happen for you? Yeah, it's happening yeah, it's for us as well. It keeps happening to me. Don't know why. So that brings us to the first manticore. In fact, I'm going to make things simpler by pushing up the captain. But she is at the wheel and does nothing. So the first manticore, I think they were the other way around. Doesn't really matter. Um, nothing really matters. This one was close enough. Lanny, it's going to land on the deck. Oof. Next to you. Hello. It turns, it screams at you. Like I said before, it kind of looks like a large lion. I don't know whether Lanny would have seen a lion before. Probably not. But there's something about the face which is unusual. I think it has almost a slightly more human face than a manticore would. But for the body itself is all intensive purposes, much like a lion, except for these strange, almost bat-like like wings which it has coming from the side and at the end of its tail this odd strange spiky protrusion from which it has been firing at you all this time it lands it is going to make three attacks one with its mouth and two with its claws so it swings two claw attacks at you we have a 19 and a 10 yes 19 will hit for five piercing damage because I'm raging that's very true. And the bite. A miss. Going to miss. The second manticore is going to do... Oh, what is it going to do? Well, I think... Lee and terror. terror. As you <laughs> shot it so terribly, it's going to uh -oh. land here. Oh, shit. Do the same. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, a 14 and a 17. Uh, a, the 14 does not hit, the 17 does. Uh, but so that's nine points of piercing damage. I'm going to use Uncanny Dodge and half that. Reduced to four. Okay. Ah, where's my... Oh. Uh, it is so... now going to bite you, though. Eep. Okay. A 21. Okay. Well, shit, yes, that's... Mm. Yes. Seven points of damage. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear, uh... and that brings us to you, Lanny. I'm sorry, I, I assume, did, was there some reaction you wanted to make? Or? I think uh, you have No, used I already used my reaction for Uncanny Dodge. Then Lanny, brings us to you. Lanny, having taken a... Yeah claw to the side as he's still clutching the wheel will natural lanny instinct will let go of the wheel pull out the maul and will attack this beastie uh or one attack first of all a 19 to hit that will hit for 15 bludgeoning damage Okay. And a second attack. Uh, reckless. This second attack. For 16 to hit. Will also hit. Another 15 damage. Nice. Okay. 30 damage. So that will end my turn. Okay. That brings us to this guy, does the guy stood squarely in front of you. I'm sorry, uh, your area of effect, when does that happen? At the end when of I... a turn. Uh, so yeah, the guy behind me should have done, done a deck save after so the end of his turn. Dexterity saving throw, correct? Yep. Oof. That's a fail. Then, uh, how much does he take? Uh, he takes... 
Ooh, nice. Ooh, eight lightning oh. damage. Jesus. Okay. The guy in front of you, though, he makes his Where? attack. Where is your friend now, Christian? A 22. That one's gonna hit. That's four slashing damage. That does end his turn, though. Yep, so give me a save. Make his saving throw. That's a fail. Give me some of that lightning. That's a three lightning damage. Okay, so I think we talked about this last week. There's this tech basically now some sort of Tesla coil and within this area around him he's kind of throwing off arcs of lightning that circle and spin around him almost like whips and arms and uh, both of these men are caught up within these uh, electrical tendrils so this guy is going to make a decision <laughs> Who does he shoot at? I guess he shoots at the guy on his boat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you soft cover, Des, because there's people between you. There's a soft person in, in, in front of me. Uh, yeah, so uh, plus two cover, I believe. Okay. Plus two to AC. Okay. And, that's and he was actually one. That's he hit miss. the guy in the back of the head. Oh yeah, come on, he has to hit the guy in front of me. <laughs> um, I, I don't think we ever shield. really talked Too about... Much shield. That was a natural one. I mean, if, if we do this, it has to go in both directions. And mm -hmm. um, I think, to be fair, the way it goes in Pathfinder is you have to roll again. And a second one is, is, is a critical fail, it's called. So, um, I'm just going to do that now. Okay. So, no. Would have, been, would have been so funny, though. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, the guy in front of me just folds up. Like, oh, I didn't completely touch him. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So, Torin, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Having seen the manticores, or whatever they are, land on the ship... But also seeing both of my two of my friends dealing with them quite efficiently, and seeing the dumbass on the other ship on his own. Mm. What the captain? Torin is going to sigh. <laughs> That's a free action. And then run. No, not a free action. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And she's going to, as she gets there, turn on the spot and disappear into a cloud of mist. Ooh. Reappearing 20 feet away as she casts Misty Step. Oof. So that is a bonus action. Which means I can still use a cantrip as my action. Is this man wearing metal armor in front of me? <laughs> That's a loaded oh, I, question. I have to check. You are flanked anyway. As in, you are flanking. Well, do him I anyway. get flanking regardless? Because Des yeah. is there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's definitely flanked. Okay. Well, if he's wearing uh, metal armor, I'd have advantage as I'm going to appear behind him and just say very quietly in his ear. Hello, fucker. And I'm going to jab him in the kidney and cast Shocking Grasp. Oh, my. Ooh, natural How does a natural nice. 20 sit with you? <laughs> <laughs> For 26 yes. lightning damage to the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> a, Specifically, man. the kidney. <laughs> Cooked from the inside out. Shit. So he he was feeling quite confident actually at this point. He's he's finding a single man, a single man against him and his fellows and his captain. He he, he was actually quite confident. 
happy with his chances. And then suddenly he had a, a cold voice whisper in his ear. And the next thing he knew, he was doing something similar to what Des did when he drank the, uh, the, <laughs> the juice that made him dance. Uh, but this time the dance was very brief indeed, only a few seconds, after which he did drop dead onto the deck of the ship. Yes. As the sizzling man drops, <laughs> and my hands are still pulsing with electricity, I'm just going to look at all the other people in front of Des, and just sort of very slowly waggle my fingers in a hello kind of motion. Oh, <laughs> I'll, like, I'll like nod my head backwards towards and go, all right, lads, shoot with me. Jesus. That's me. Actually... Oh no, you've still got your fucking bubble on you, so I'm not gonna go any further, any closer. Yeah, best not. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stand there with lightning sort of arcing between the fingertips as a little wave. And that's me. Devi. Hi. So, uh, thankfully, the one that uh, I have insightful fighting against deigned to land in front of me is. Convenient. So, um, seeing it swoop down, he's dropped his uh, longbow to his side, just just on the ground next to me, uh, anticipating a a proper fight. And he's drawn the tidewater cutlass. Um, and yeah, he's gonna uh, he's, he's gonna. Uh, let's have a look. Where is... Ah! First of all... <laughs> because there's nobody in front of me apart from that, I am going to do this. Hydraulic push. Oh it's a bonus action. Um, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the DC is for the throw, though. You should. I mean, I, I, it should be on. You should have a basic DC on your um, sheet. I think. Um, Let me just check if I put it in the actual. Um, I don't card. think you put it in the item. On the card. I'd water cut this. Let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. I didn't, did I? No, there's no. Arbitrary DC. Um, I mean, What's if your, you, my, let's just add your um, proficiency. Dexterity. Oh, dexterity. So your dexterity. Yeah, plus three. Okay, so it'll so be it's 13. A DC thirteen. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh, it's a good save. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's no, all right. 19. A wet in front of you. 13. That's okay. It's a cantrip. Uh, <clears throat> say, uh, Nate? Uh, I just think the nineteen might beat his thirteen. Just yeah, a tad. Just a, right. just a wee bit. Just I a, mean, just a one of those wet dog shakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. Go on. Go on. Yeah, uh, and then so I'm just now going to attack uh, with a oh. nineteen to hit. A nineteen does hit. So it's four slashing damage and seventeen sneak attack damage. Jesus Christ! Oh. So um, you you already hit this creature with an arrow, and you saw the arrow hit its mark perfectly. It sunk deeply into its chest cavity. It's landed on the deck before you, and it is thrashing its claws, swinging at you. But although it did, I think one hit did connect you. You see, it's yeah. it's a sluggish, and as you look at it you can see its eyes are almost blurry and are focused you throw up this tide water cutlass causing a wave to appear and thrash into it it does not knock it to its knock it to its you it does not knock it to its feet but you see that they're almost swaying and stumbling you realize in this moment that this creature is already very very hurt and you use this this moment in time to once again take very careful aim step a dodge and a feint and then you thrust the cutlass forward 
catching it just between the shoulder and the ear and your blade sinks deep and the eyes roll back and you see the creature fall. Nicely done. Wait, hey. Good shit, dude. One down. Um, and as soon as I see the conscience, consciousness leave its eyes, I um, see that I turn to check on Lanny, see that he is facing this thing, and I move up and right into its into combat with it. Um, I'm wondering how far I can get. Is that the closest I can get to it? Like it's it seems like it's kind of overhanging the rail of the ship a bit there. Yeah, it's a large creature. So yeah. It, okay. It does. Uh, th- th- those four squares are its its area. Okay. I will tell you why. I am trying to position myself to give Lanny advantage. Um, it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> so I'm hoping, like, if he it's, sees it's... me there, if he moves across. Um, to where? <laughs> well, the I didn't know if like maybe the one next to no, him would that, be enough. That but... wouldn't. No, it enough. would need to be here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. not even there. Okay. Technically, it would be here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's that's where I uh, I guess I end my turn. I don't think I used my bonus action already, so that's that, and that's my attack and my movement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm done. Okay. The ship's guard on the CERN castle is going to fire at you, Des. I think they they all bought like a dodgy batch of crossbows. <laughs> They're all stormtroopers. <laughs> They're all yeah. misfiring. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Got that D20 again. Got that D20 again. So, the top of the round, that does mean the ship that you are on now um, it's going to virtually move off the screen at this point. So um, I'm going to leave it where it is. But for for Lanny and uh, Devi, please bear in mind that your position on the map is now or currently not representative of the current situation. And of the course. Blood Wake is now sailing unmanned. As <laughs> Lanny let go of the wheel. It is now just sailing um, slightly aimlessly past the Rahadumi ship. Oh dear. I know. Okay. Uh, that brings us to you though, Desi. Hello. Okay. FK sec. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm going to punch the guy in front of me. Why would you want to do something like that? That might come as a surprise, I know. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Before I do that, what is that? Is that a... It is... Ooh, I have I have a quandary. I have a quandary. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hex on the guy in front of me. Okay. If, if you want to mark him for oh death. God. This bit is really strong. <laughs> All right. First attack. That'll be uh, 24 to hit. Uh, it's uh, so that is uh, seven points of bludgeoning and four points of necrotic. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, second attack. Oh, not so good. That's nine to hit. That does miss, I'm afraid. Yeah, I won't. Um, that I believe is my turn. Okay. okay. Yeah. Decent. Decent. Mm. I mean, the first the first hit was good. It was so good it made him. Super wary of the next one, and he, he he did dodge, duck, and dive. Yeah, understandable. The captain of the Rahadumi ship, seeing that her vessel is now basically unable to sail. Ooh. Hello. Hello. It's going to advance Ooh. at you, pike in hand. Hmm? Oh shit! 
23 will hit, I assume. That's 12 points of piercing damage. And her second attack. 16? 16 will miss. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> I'm going to use a key point to make her hit the guy in front of me. Okay, again, there's no way he can dodge this, right? He, he just gets hit. Uh, tipsy Sway, one key point. As a reaction, if if missed in melee, attack it instead hits other person I see within five feet. Okay. Yep. So the first thrust uh, catches you a little off guard as you only just saw her uh, advancing on you in the last moment. Um, she gets a decent hit on you as she pulls back and uh, begins to thrust a second time, at which point you raise your arm in a kind of rotating movement. You, simultaneously, you turn your body and you deflect uh, the the direction of the blade of the pike and it thrusts past you and sideways and catches the guy so next to you who takes a nice pike to the belly. Nice. He's still oh, alive! He's, Fucking hell. He's still alive. He's probably not happy oh, about it. Um, deck safe for her, please. Oh, very true. Uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. It's a 11. So there she's going to do something. Three points of lightning damage. Uh, okay, there we go. So that brings us to the Manticore Lanny. Oh, sorry, before you do that quickly. As a, fr- as a free action, I'll turn to her and say, I don't think you know who you're messing with, love. I am the danger. I am the one who shocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't speak common, so. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure Torin I'm sure appreciates it. Torin is not appreciative of you trying to steal her moniker as the person who shocks people to death. Look, if you, if you, if you want to rip off Breaking Bad, you're welcome to at any point. <laughs> so, Lani, you have a still moving manticore in front of you. It is going to begin attacking you, and they are all at advantage because I believe you attacked recklessly. So, the first claw attack 15? Miss. A. Oh, oh that's 12 oh, points no. of damage reduced to 6. It's not that much. He's had pitiful output. Is that right? Yeah, they don't do that much. Okay. And white. A 17. Two. Six reduced to three. Yeah. <coughs> and that brings us back to you, Lani. Oh, the quandary. Uh. <laughs> I wonder what he'll do. <laughs> yeah, Lanny's going to smash it in the face again. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what were you even... <laughs> I'm in the wheel and spinning Where shit was the out. question? <laughs> Ball, face, parts thereof. 23 to hit for 16 damage. That will hit. Are you Second attacking time. recklessly this turn? Oh, oh yeah, fuck it. Why not? All right. <laughs> don't, don't fuck it, that's a good podcast. That is a 21 for 10 damage. That's miserable. A 1 and a 2. Will also <laughs> hit. Uh, 10 damage. Okay. 16 and 10. And that will end my pitiful turn. Okay. So you've landed two blows on it. It's looking pretty fucked up. It's strange, semi-human-like line face is fairly smushed, <clears throat> and you can see it. Javi, yeah, hey. hey, remember the trick for the news. dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, out of character. I don't. What? What was? It was the title <laughs> of the podcast. Get it in the taint. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the taint is currently facing away from me. I don't care. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, Devi, we have a guy in front of you who is a trained defender of ships. So he's going to step here. Oh, 
I mean, I, th I think an 18 hits, right? Just about, yes. But it's only three points of damage. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> it does end his turn. Uh, deck save, please. Okay. D -d 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 -d. Bark off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just, in case, just in case you were keeping track. Uh, another three points of lightning damage. Okay. So we have uh, the guy in the stone castle. He's going to fire at you with his crossbow. An 18. That does hit. Uh, I will be um, deflecting missiles. Go for it. Didn't That's you already deep. use your reaction this turn? Uh, did Thank I? You very much. Is that, was, was that this turn? Yeah. Yeah. It's from one. Yeah, it's yes, before. It was, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no, yeah, you are correct. I hate to burst your bubble as my ally, but. <laughs> oh, no. That's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant work from you, Nate. No, no, no. Um, I, really, I know what really 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 says, Ed. It's fine. <laughs> we all know it. It's not a secret. I've got healing. Fuck you. Six points of damage. Yeah, I jumped on the fucking ship behind you. Uh, Torin. Hello! It's quite quiet there. Okay. So. I'm going to do terrible things. Uh, I am going to step around and get behind this bitch. Pinky. Uh, and I'm going to uh, do the same again. Presuming I have advantage. You're flanking, so you have advantage. Yeah. Wonderful. <clears throat> I'm going to cast I'm... Shocking Brass. Go on. Uh, add advantage. Oof. And oh. again, gonna hit her in the kidney with this uh, with this lightning, and so just ruin her day just a little bit. Twenty six to hit. So twenty six to hit with eleven lightning damage. It hits. Okay, noted. Um, and as a bonus action. Uh, do I want to do that? Maybe. I can do that. What's the range on that? Oh, I could do that for you. Nah. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave it there, I think. Uh, smiling with a with a giggle as I shock this bitch. Uh, and yeah, that'll be me. Someone's having a good time. Me? Okay, it's uh, Devi's turn. So he is going to, of course, uh, try to force the uh, manticore. Ah, actually, no. Because my ally is in combat with it, I don't need to do that to get the sneak attack. So, I am going to use my uh, bonus action instead to try and uh, hydraulic push. Um, so, a DC 13 deck save. As I cast hydraulic push on the manticore. Mm -hmm. I was just double checking, but it's three times a day you can do that. Uh, yes, I believe so. So, a dexterity saving throw? Yep. Fucking hell. Alright, fine. 19. Whatever. Another one. Nothing but nimble. <laughs> uh, so, in that case, again, I'm going to start slashing away with me cutlass. Uh, so. Go on. An eight to oh, hit. Man. Wonderful. Rolled a two. How did you manage that? Natural Rolled a two. two. No. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But that's yeah. I okay. mean, you're, you're stood on the stairs. You're kind of fighting up. It's it's a tricky angle, man. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I failed at both things I was trying to do. Uh, I 
don't really have anything else. Uh, so I'm just going to stay there and... Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stay there for a minute. I just realised I could do something, uh, but I have used my action now, so it's, uh, that's my turn. Thank you. Okay. That brings us to this ship guard, and I, I'm just going to roll a dice to decide whether who's going to shoot. So, <laughs> which you can't see, but I can, and it's Dev uh, Desi. So, uh. um. <laughs> oh! Oh Four shit! Four points of damage. Yep. And it's your turn. Hello. Right. Sorry, uh, it's top of the round, and I'm yep. just going to say, the blood wake now with the wheel completely unmanned, it starts to turn, and the ship begins to bank a little uncomfortably uh, to the right. And you lose a little bit of speed as it is now lurching slightly. I mean, it's not dangerously. I mean, you're not going to capsize or anything, but the, 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 the wheel is now just turning freely. Free wheel turn and... Sorry. Uh, <coughs> Daz, yes, your turn. Okay. Right. So this this guy needs to go away. He's he's he's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's vexing me. Major right. Um, just... Oh, no. I can't. Go on. So, attack him in front of me. There's an 18 hit. Yeah, you're hitting the guy to the to the right of you, right? This one, yeah. Yeah. So that is uh, six points of bludgeoning, five points of necrotic. You sidekick him off the ship. Oh, yes. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Love it. Is he dead? <laughs> well, he's gone. Yeah, but is he dead? <laughs> yeah, that yeah, he was literally brought to zero. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna take my hundred straight away. Okay. So yeah, next time I can use my bonus action to move back over to somebody, somebody else. Don't know who that might be at this point. Um. Okay. So second attack, woman in front of me. I have advantage because she is um flanked. This is true. This is true. All right. Uh, strike with advantage. That'll be a 19. Well hit. That's seven points of bludgeoning. And okay. as a bonus action, I'm going to use a key point for flurry of blows. No. Ooh. Mm. No. Yes. Hold on. Yeah. Sure, sure. All of you, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Noises. No. Noises. First of all, before my bonus action, I am going to uh, use a key point to do a stunning strike. So she needs to give me a constitution saving throw. Ah, oh, poopy. That's a lady. That's a pretty good roll. She took That's it on the chin, mate. And she did. Right, well, in that case, let's see if she can take these on the chin as well. So bonus action, another key point. Um, unarmed, uh, no, uh, blah, blah, blah. flow blows. Advantage. Oh, natural 20 on the first one. Oh, have we lost Rich again? No. I think it was the bot. I've no, been the bot. Bot's still there, otherwise we wouldn't, we wouldn't be hearing the music. It went out and came back in again. Mm, I right. can't hear the music at all. I can. We can. We can. Still go. Alright, I'm just going to have to pretend it's going. I can't hear anything. <laughs> we'll just... Etc. Right, so yeah, so um, natural twin on the first hit, which is seven bludgeoning plus six, so that is thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And is there a fifteen hit? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. There we go. That is uh, that is it then. That I believe uh, is my turn. Okay. That brings us to what the lady herself. I am going to... Sorry, this is really irritating me. I cannot hit the music at all. Um, <laughs> so, she is going to retaliate as best she can. Oh. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, no. 
That hurts. 16 points of damage. Which is exactly enough to bring me down to zero. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm nowhere nearby. So, seeing you. Chip across on me, I'm not dead. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking rude, that is. Okay, and without skipping a beat, she's going to. Uh, she is going to turn on you, Torin. Oh, hi! Bloody hell. Hot. That's 12 points of damage. That is 12 she's... points of damage. This is... She's feisty. Sorry, what? I said she's feisty. No, uh, what did Nate say? I was repeating that, yes, that is 12 points of damage. Yep, that's 12 points of damage. That's 12 points of damage. Sorry, I heard it left out. Uh, and that's her turn. We now go back to the Manticore. Manny? They were reckless attacks, so these are with advantage. Fucking hell, eleven's not gonna Hit. do nothing. An eighteen? Hit. Can a four reduce to two? <laughs> and a bite. Yes. These things are shit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute shit. Lanny, it's your turn. You should load them up with Eldr Eldritch Blast Thorn. Just yeah. to, uh, <laughs> add, to their, add to their shit list. I don't even need to say it. 21. 14 when? points of damage. Okay. So this creature, completely battered, obviously. It's thrashing at you. Even the, even the hits that are landing aren't really doing anything. You're just brushing it off in your rage. Shrugging off every blow, and as it staggers weak in front of you, you take a swing with your maul. Is it still alive? He's uh, dead. He's dead. Oh, good. <laughs> he's motionless. <laughs> um, nice. Hannah, I know I've obviously my action is two attacks, but can I attempt to just grab the wheel? Um, you can grab the wheel to make it stop. I mean, it's interacting with an object, and I, be and I believe interacting with it, you get one free interaction yeah. per turn. So just to grab the wheel, yeah, I can say you can, which would stop the ship from, yeah. from turning and lurching. Throw the, yeah. throw the wall, on. grab the wheel, and I will shout, Let's get this ship turned around! Okay. And got that will be my turn for now, because I can't turn the wheel, because I've used my action. <laughs> okay, this guy's dead. So it's this guy. He has only one target. Step forward. Crossbow in hand. Torin. Hello. <laughs> Twenty will hit. That's oh, the fuck, shit. Nate. Seeing damage. Ow. All right, a pike to the arm and a. Bolt to the leg. Ow! Uh, it is your turn, though. Okay. They can pay. Oh, uh, sorry. She's uh, <laughs> what's her face is out of turn, isn't she? She needs to. Oh no. Uh, my, my, I imagine my thing would have gone off by now. So never mind. Ignore me. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just a drunk fool. <laughs> right. Well, let's make sure that drunk fool is alive, shall we? <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Uh, stay where I am, but Zima is going to fly out of my coat, past her, and land on my unconscious friend, and I'm going to cast through Zima, as she is my familiar, and thus says I can, a fourth level cure wounds. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm honored. This is my highest nice. level spell slot. Oof, make it count. <laughs> Ooh, that's 18 LA. points of healing. 18 is good. Thank you. It is nice. not the best, but at I'm this awake. point, 
is okay. Uh, and I'm gonna look at this woman and just sort of cock my head and just make a motion with my finger of uh, turn around. And I'm gonna smile. <laughs> and as a bonus action, I'm going to do nothing because that was my action. Bollocks. I mean, and I don't have any bonus action cantrips. Because there's not very many of those at all. And I have none of them. So. <laughs> uh, the. The monk is not dying. Yep. And that will be my turn. <coughs> okay. I appreciate you, Torin. Oh, you fucking better do. Wow. Okay, Devi, it's your turn. Okay, so the seeing the manticore slump, I don't waste any time. I immediately turn back to this side of the boat, run over, pick up the longbow, and as I'm doing it, I uh, shout to the crew. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll shout to the crew. Right then, on your toes. The next pass will be boarding. And I'll turn around and give a nod to Lanny. Um, and if you will allow me, may I take a shot with the bow? You can. What's your range on that bow? Uh, it is um, 150 optimal. And then yeah, okay. You're still, you're still, you're still within yeah. 150. I was going to yeah. say, you're about 100 away now. But you're still within 100. Okay. So I'm going to target the. Ca I'm guessing it's the captain. Oh, don't miss. Uh, and I'm going to take a pot shot. No, Fucking hell. Miss. So that is a one. A natural oh, one of a total of five. So that's one worse than I did last now time. Now you need to roll a d20 again to see if you hit me. Yeah. Please don't hit him. Sorry. I just got that up. <laughs> it's a four. That's it's eight. not hit either of your comrades. I'm just rolling so fucking <laughs> low. Fuck for that. I'd like to believe it hits the guy who's like dead on the deck next to us. <laughs> it just th thunks into a corpse. Yeah. I did, yeah. <laughs> hey, I need that corpse. Watch it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, the woman that is like what? <laughs> I, I I have nothing else I can do. I don't I think. Don't speak common, we could. Um, <laughs> although, let me just check something. It does not have a range. It doesn't have a range. So the captain needs to make a deception check. <laughs> against my insight which is 19 16 okay so if He's I not. if any of my arrows deign to hit my target <laughs> uh, I will get sneak attack damage I think I did. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that ends my turn Okay. So the ship's guard, uh, just to keep it fair, I don't, I never know who to to shoot at. So it's, I mean, it's either Torin, who was the active fighter, or this crazy bald guy who just arisen from the dead. It would seem. <laughs> well, he's I'm not hitting. stood up yet. No, he's That's still true. on the uh, ground. I rolled randomly, and it said I should shoot you anyway, Torin. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've got enough points to take it so far. Fifteen! Fifteen would hit. Shield. Except I'm going to use my reaction to shield, so Yay. black shadows are just going to appear and just snatch the arrow out of the sky okay. uh, as it hits me. <laughs> Presumably making the woman in front of me very annoyed. <laughs> Smile. 
mark off my spells. That remains up to your whole turn, doesn't it? Uh, it will stay up until the start of my turn. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, if she if she if she tries to hit you, it will be helpful. Absolutely. Okay. It buffs my armor to nineteen okay. at the moment. Okay. You will tell me if the music stops, won't you? Because yes, yeah, no, still good. Just, I, I'm We're all just good. Trusting you at the moment. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Trust okay, me, Dad. I'm not drinking. <laughs> Guys, it's your turn. Oh, hello. Right. So f five feet of movement to stand up. Obviously, doesn't make much difference, but you know. I'd like I'm just you, imagining I'm like... the Shawn Michaels kip up at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Vince McMahon um, appearing over the edge of the ring, all bloody and grinning. Um, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> From Torian's point of view, she'll just see him rising up behind her, like, proper blood all down his face with a big smile. Torrid is still waggling the finger with the turn around motion and this woman has not just put a smile on that face of yours right then um, I'm going to punch her in the back of the head with an advantage uh, 17 17 yes not hit okay second oh, attack shit. Twenty. Twenty will hit. Alright, that's seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. She gets donkey punched right in the back of the head. Um and bonus action, just my regular um additional attack. Well. Yep. Okay. I was hoping for a twenty. I'm guessing fourteen doesn't hit because seventeen didn't before. Correct. But now she's aware that I'm up. Hi. Uh yes, she does know that you're there now. Mm-hmm. My turn. Okay. So, um, yeah, feeling this smack in the back of the head. She's now going to split her two attacks between the two of you. All right. The first is coming at you, Torin. Okay. Right. Fifteen will uh, be deflected off the shield. Okay. And in the in the same kind of movement, she she sways one way and then swings back in the opposite way. And uh, Des, a oh, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hate to see it. I'll catch it in midair, but ah, will me perhaps, one? yeah, yeah. Uh, the knock in the back of the head, knocked off balance. Let's see. Yes. Okay, then it would have been the Manticore's turn, but he is dead. So Lanny, it's your turn. Uh, as Lanny you're steering the ship. Yeah. Lanny uses action to turn the ship around. Okay, it is going to take an, an, a number of turns to actually get the ship turned around and back to the... Uh... There's no handbrake in this thing? There is no handbrake. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Have you ever seen a no... barbarian handbrake turn a boat? <laughs> There's no reverse either, so I'm going to need some sailing checks. to. See. I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's taking three turns, assuming you don't fuck up on any of those turns, so... <laughs> and what do you First mean turn, boats please. can't drift? <laughs> kind of drift, but I mean, uh, man, you like those thirteens for your sailing checks? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, they've, uh, they've all been thirteens, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a thirteen uh, is enough to uh, uh, at least grab the wheel, uh, stop it from spinning. You uh, basically just hold it because you do actually want to turn, uh, but you are going to have to give out some orders to adjust the sailing because you're literally going to have to. Yeah, basically yeah, that's what change the direction of sail. So you are now shouting out orders while you hold the wheel to the crew who are now frantically adjusting booms and rigging to uh, to accommodate for the for the change of direction. So uh, <laughs> this point, uh, hold on, hold on. At this point, my rage would have dropped. Um, okay. And would you allow me, as a bonus action, to cast healing word upon myself? Is it a bonus action or is it an action? Yes, it is a bonus action. Well then, uh, yeah, if it's a bonus action, then why not? Why would I not allow you to do it? Uh, you're evil. Just... You're I'm action. not evil. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah, dare rage you? is faded, so you can cast uh, spells. Yeah, so I will do that. Uh, I mean, dropping <laughs> the rage is a free action, I assume. It, it you would drop anyway because I haven't taken damage or I don't I haven't think, yeah, yeah. Mm, so. yeah. 
so I will heal five hit points. Nice. That's a shame. I love the image of Lanny just stood at the wheel holding on and just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Rage the fucking steering. rabid dog. Fucking boat! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can get it back next round, don't worry. So, the, uh, the standing sailor is shooting at you again, Torin. I'm All afraid. Right. I, I am bring it. dice for this. I, I I'm not... okay with it. I mean, he's got to shoot one of you, to be fair. So, a 16 is not going to hit you, though. I a 16 think. is going to be grabbed by the shield. I mean, Just to be fair, it's whirling probably good around. That, they sh- that they're shooting at you, because you can deflect them all. Um, oh, but I with... Can... Oh, yeah, I suppose. But as that, uh, as that crossbow bolt hits your shield, it actually fades, as it is now your turn. Okay, then. So... I'm gonna look at this bitch, uh, and I'm going to. Is she looking at me or looking at Des? She's currently looking, looking at, at me. you. Is she? X. Probably looking at me because she turned. She turned around to hit me. Yeah. Okay, did. that's fair. Fair. Uh, I'm all right. Well, I'm going to uh have one hand. Grab her by the hair and Ooh. yank her back. As the, as the other hand is going to wrap around her throat. Oh my! And I am going to uh, whisper in a hoarse, raspy voice in uncommon, which the monk does understand, uh, and he would hear. I don't know whether she'll understand it, but he will hear. Be cursed. And I shall cast Bestow Curse on her. Shit. At third level. Nice. Oh, shit. I need her to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Okay. I can do that. Oh, beautiful. Oh. I think you find that you can't do that. Okay. Sorry, what? So. <laughs> Uh, I am going to say, uh, I'm going to choose the effect. While cursed, the target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns. If it fails, it wastes its action doing nothing that turn. Okay, so I basically don't get an action. If you if you fail a wisdom saving throw at the start of your turn, you have oh, no get, action get... that turn. I get another, um, I get another, another chance when it's my turn. Okay. Yes. So now, I am... Is there a button for concentrating? Uh, let's just use the bleeding eye. I am concentrating on a spell. Uh, she has been cursed by me. I will... Yep. I'll cast it so you can look at... Oh, I mm-hmm. didn't properly do that i will display it in vtt death's curse uh originally bestow curse but fuck it god of death uh choose one ability score is one of the effects uh they can have disadvantage on checks and saving throws uh or it can have disadvantage on attacks against me or it could have the effect that i've taken which is wisdom saving throw at the start of each turn uh or the other effect is, while cursed, my attacks and spells do an extra 1d8 necrotic to the target. Okay, it says it wastes its action. Is that yes. all of its actions? Can it make a move action? Uh, m- a movement, an action, and a bonus are all separate things. It just does not have an action. So it can't do anything? It can move and it can make a bonus action. It doesn't ah, have okay, specifically yeah, that's what an action. Yeah, move and action. And then, okay. Bonus action. Okay. Good. So, nice. uh, and this is a third level, so it is a minute concentration. What I love is if I cast this at ninth level, uh, it lasts until dispelled. Oof. That's uh, totally cursed. Uh, yeah, I can just curse a bitch. Seems a bit. It's a ninth it's level slot, though. Imagine yeah. it. Yeah. That's true. But... 
Okay, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn. That's my action to cast that. That brings us to Devi. It's me. It you. Hi. Um. Okay. So yeah, I chose the wrong moment to be sociable. I didn't realise it was that close to my turn. Hi. Right. So um. <laughs> The ship is circling around. I take it with Lanny uh, pulling a pulling a hard left turn. Um, yeah, I assume you're going to be coming in. Um, yeah. From the north, so I've just turned the ship around just so that you. Uh, yeah. Excellent. It makes a little bit more sense. That does make a bit so, more sense. Although you're not even turned that far yet, uh, you're you've not quite. Done no. Full 180, but it's. I'm just going to put it like that now. Yeah, fair, but what I will do is I will move to uh, there to get a better line of sight on my target. Is the target still within 150 feet of me? Uh, if you've turned direction 50 feet... Yeah, okay, I'm going to say you're, you're just at the cusp of 150. Okay, Wonderbar. Wonderbar? I should have said that properly. Because Wonderbra. there's Wonderbra. nothing worse than absolutely masticating someone else's language. Wunderbar. Um, you can think of a lot of worse things. <laughs> I am Spiders going to... Um, Aretha for a start. Oh, so why I, would you say it? That's, that's why terrible. would you say that? <laughs> that was that's terrible. horrific. That is terrible. Thank it also thanks. could be the image of a ninth level curse, to be fair. Oof. Yeah, I... Yep. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to move swiftly on from that and uh, take a <laughs> shot at that captain. Uh, longbow plus one. I don't know why I keep using... Oh, yeah, because of the range. Yeah, that's why I keep using it. Otherwise, I'd use my shortbow. Uh, okay, so uh, I have insightful fighting, I believe, on the captain. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Oh, wow. A 14... Well, does he much. does he does he get advantage because she's engaged? Not with a um, range attack. Okay. No. Just checking. Yeah, flanking only works with melee. So that's a, a no go, right? It's not a hit, I'm afraid. Okay, no, that's fine. It's fine. Sneak attack was atrocious on that as well. That's all right. <laughs> so I'm I'm almost glad it didn't hit. Um, in that case, I am. Um, Hmm. I'm just going to wait. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait. Just going to wait until we are ready to board. That is my turn. Thank you. So, this guy again. As a customer. Hey, I'm very sorry, Torin. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like you. A 20 this time. Oh, shit. Oh. I can't block a 20, so I'll take the 7. Then, uh, seven and you make, make a concentration check. Oh, no! Oh. Uh, rolling an advantage because of Warcaster. Oh, yay! No, 19. Right. I am fine. Desmond! <laughs> Good. God. All right. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Okay. Um, punchy, punchy, facey, facey. Oh. Oof. That's a dirty twenty. That will hit. Seven bludgeoning to the face. Okay. First one. Mm -hmm. Second one. Uh, that's a d twenty-two. That's nine bludgeoning to the face. And then, do I lose my last key point? I do have advantage. It will probably worth before it. You, before you oh. roll. Oh. Tell me how you do it. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, oh. right then. So, I believe... Um, who was the last person that she hit? Did she hit Torin? Or did she... Was the last... Her last turn was when she turned and tried I to hit me? When, I think it's when, it, when she turned to hit you. All right. So, she she, she, tried, she turned to try to hit me and I grabbed her, her, um, her pole. Then I grabbed her by the throat and then, cursed yeah. her. Pull her backwards. So after you 
cursed her, and I'm I'm going to assume after you cursed her, you basically just pushed her forward. Yes. Um, and in pushing her forward, I would have punched her in the stomach to make her bend forward even more, and then brought a knee up into her jaw, snapping her head backwards, and she pulled, uh, goes back like a felled tree. Nice. 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 Thumps to the deck. Oh. Comfortable sound. Hello, boys. Well then, so that was my that was my second attack, wasn't it? So I'm going to move forward up here, introduce myself by punching this one in the face. Um, it's a regular arm strike. There's a bonus action. Twenty-one. That will hit. That's a uh, eight bludgeoning damage. Pleased to meet you. I believe you know my name. <laughs> Fist. <laughs> my name is Fist. <laughs> yeah, literal. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she is deed. So that brings us to you, Lanny. I, I, if you're continuing to sell the ship, I'm going to need another check. Please. I don't have to. That's a 20. Oh, very nice. So you've now managed to bring the ship completely around. You are now heading back in the right direction. You have angled the ship slightly so that you will brush up beside um, uh, the Rahadumi ship in a north south position. Brings us to this guy here who's going to pull out his cutlass and have a slash at Desmond. He's going to have a slash. He, <laughs> yeah, slash. Uh, um, <laughs> he misses with an eight. Um, and that brings us to Torin. Okay. Seeing this bitch crumple, uh, I am going to move up to here. Uh, coming up the stairs on the left-hand side. Uh, and I am going to look at these poor fucks in front of me. And... Uh, do I do it? Nah, let's do, let's do something a little more fun. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Ooh, could I? No, I'm gonna... Fuck it, they're the last two I need to kill. I'm gonna raise both my hands, and lightning is going to begin to crackle between my fingers. And I'm lightning bolting these two fuckers right here. Hey. Deck save. So the first one attempts to jump out of the way as he sees your approach, and within 11 he's going to fail. He takes the full effect of your spell. Brunt. The guy behind him. Oh. Also is that a fail. Is that a fail. Also that fail. That is a okay. fail. Which means both of them are going to get blasted through the chest by a lightning bolt that does 20 lightning damage. Jesus Christ, okay. The guy in front of you, Des, collapses. And this guy, although frazzled and shocked, hair stood on end, is left standing beside <laughs> his dead friend. And finally, I'm going to take a step forward. And I'm going to say, in common, because I don't know whether they understand any different, uh, I'm just going to point to the ground and just say, Kneel. Yeah. Or die. And that's it. Devi, it's your turn. It's uh, me. A Devi. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Um, there's only one... Well, I imagine they like the, the deck is actually a lot more crew on there, but... Yeah, as I said, I mean... This is... There were mostly sailors. The the armed guards were fewer. Yeah. The sailors are basically cowering so, at this point. I mean, the main mast yeah. has dropped. There's there's rigging and sail covering yeah, the deck. Okay. But they just so, do seem to be staying out of the way. This is the only armed person that you can currently see. Cool. Well, in that case, uh, why not use a bonus action against him to get him to make a deception check against my insight? Oh, which is a natural one for a grand total of nine. But I could still succeed. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Which is a ridiculous thing. Oh, I do! God. 
<laughs> Excellent. I, I was sick. The, 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 man, the, man, the poor man is terrified. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to uh, loose an arrow in his direction. Fucking <laughs> 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 no. hell. So I rolled a 10. <laughs> I've literally have hit one thing with this fucking thing all night. You did. Yeah, but you got one. a fucking crit on it. I yeah. know. I mean, it makes when up for all the rest hit, of the space. You did 55, 56 fucking damage. Right, you okay, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it like that, it's not so bad. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I assume that's your turn. That is my turn. <laughs> I'd like to believe that the arrow hits this guy here, just to, just to like, you know, thematically. Just... Oh yeah, once again, it just it hits the dead body on the ground. <laughs> what? Why do arrows keep shoot just... it in the dead people? Why do arrows keep on sprouting out of these bodies? I was at least of some use this 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 session. <laughs> I like to think he like rolled a natural twenty on his death saves and opened his eyes and was like, oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> and gets hit by an arrow again. <laughs> arrow to the throat as he's taking a breath. <laughs> okay, so the sole guard left upon the ship looks around, um, takes in the situation, and decides he's just going to drop his sword, drop to his knees. Uh, Torin, you have no idea if he understands you or not, or if he's just taking in uh, the reality of the situation, but that's what he's going to do. And at this point, because it's driving me crazy, um, I'm going to turn down the music. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the bot and restart it. Mm -hmm. This is exactly how Skynet happened. <laughs> so let's try that again. Please bear with me for just one second. Just one Cornetto. So give it to me. Let's try again. <laughs> Can we all hear that now? Yeah, I yes. think yes. If we're supposed to be hearing yeah, water, then yes. Sea. Ocean. Okay, excellent. So, Desi, it's technically your turn. The question is now: Do you want to punch this guy, this, this, this poor man, without <laughs> weapon, on his knees, his hands raised? Do Do you wish to punch him in the back of the head? It's not my thing, right? I mean, you know, obviously they were the enemy and all this stuff, but he's given up of his own free will. If he tries anything, he will be, you know, having a knuckle sandwich, hold the mustard. But, as it stands, he has surrendered, and therefore we will accept his uh, surrender for the moment. Okay. I mean, I will. I can't speak for Torin. <laughs> well, by the time the ship is actually... I mean, it's going to take a couple of turns before it actually basically gets here, at which point they can grapple and board however they desire. You'd have a couple of turns chance to do something if you want to, Uh, So first, I would... Uh, Thaumaturging myself and shout across the ship, The crew of the Bloodweight claims this vessel and its cargo as its own. Lay down your weapons and kneel for the arrival of our captain. Okay. And I will wait to see what happens. I mean, as I said, the guy in front of you, he's, he's already on his knees with his hands up. The sailors that are on the ship, which number... Let me... I can tell you exactly... I mean, there's at least 20 sailors or so. But they all seem to be uh, just carrying... They, they, do not, they seem absolutely non-confrontational. Nice. That's how we like um, <laughs> Non-confrontational, I'll accept. They're not kneeling, but I, I suppose I know they're Rahadumi, so they, won't, they, might, they may not understand me. Uh, I don't have any spells that allow for that. I, they exist, I just don't have them. Um, maybe okay. I'll invest in that. As, I guess, 
we take the time to pull our ship up next to yeah i mean uh, w while this has happened the the blood wake lani uh yeah, if you maintain your course give out the correct orders which i assume you would do at this point you'd let out the sail so that you kind of yeah. squeeze in yeah, up yeah i would ship. have done that and then as we were coming in i would have actually called for Pally to come and take over the ship's wheel um okay. and i would have then gotten down to uh here on the side uh, once you've made contact the uh your sailors your pirates would have actually begun to grapple the uh, enemy ship with grappling hooks and rope and pull you in secure and tight uh, and uh, simultaneously the sails would be dropped and let out so that you would come to a virtual stop as we come in um just a question nate you might know this how is jump calculated uh, it's your jump? strength score yeah your strength what, score what? rather than your modifier so what that would be in feet or yes so my strength score is plus five no the, the actual no, score the, itself the actual score, score. Not your so modifier. That's the jump you can make okay so as we come in close and we essentially come next to lanny will cast jump upon himself mm. and with that it will triple his jump distance nice. and i will jump from here and i will land uh where Jeez. should we get to where should we get to oh, <laughs> uh i can actually land behind the guy so down. You can fucking land Come on. on the dude. Shit. Come on now. Come on. So Lanny's going to jump and overshoot a bit. Didn't expect to go this far. But he's actually going to land here. Like, like the fucking Hulk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> boof. <laughs> fucking green too. And then oh, you're not facing, green, you're just facing just the wrong way. Rip. And then just turns around. The, the guy's just like. Oh, <laughs> I've missed out on all the fun. You have clearly scared the shit out of this guy, who now almost drops from his knees onto his ass. His hands still raised, eyes frantic, looking up at this colossal creature stood in front of him. Wow! What the uh, fuck, geez. Captain? How the well, fuck did you do that? I don't know. I felt something inside me, and I just went for it, and I went a bit further than I expected, but. Wow, that was good. Mark a lot alive. What the <laughs> fuck? Um, so I, think, I, I think in in actual physics, Lanny would have probably gone through a sail. <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, the sail's not there because I broke it. The main uh, one, yeah, the, 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 uh, the stern the one. The stern one. With the, it's just a Lanny-shaped hole in it. Oh, I love no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> make, make, make it so that you went through the snail, sail, you broke it, and you landed with a cape. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can help. Okay, so as, yeah. as Lanny has, uh, I I see him literally bound in one huge movement off of our vessel onto the other. I'll um, quickly turn around and shout for Sagava. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. All right, Sagava. Um, make your way over to the other ship and uh, stand by. Uh, stand by the captain. Translate for him. I'm not sure how oh, many of them speak uh, our language. Of course, I will do that for you. Thank you much. He jauntily hops over onto the ship. The uh, rest of the pirates are. They've boarded. Uh, not boarded. They've grappled, and you can see them. Uh, most of them are now stood on this. Uh, left side rail, weapons drawn. Um, they seem to be waiting some for for a, an order to board. It would seem. Although okay. uh, uh, a lot of them are already like half over. Yeah, um, I will. Cause... Lanny, Lanny will actually shout back over. Okay. And um, he, he'll say, uh, "Crew, the blood wake, uh, come across. Let's make sure there's none of these mercenaries." lurking about let's make sure they're all dealt with but the crew of the ship to be not injured just yet okay with the order the 
pirates began begin leaping over. They have to climb, as I said, the, your blood weight's slightly smaller than the Rahadumi ship, so they're having to climb a little bit up. But they began swarming over the rails onto the enemy ship. Uh, Devi, while that's happening... Yes. You kind of turn to watch this wave of pirates swarming over, and as you do, you look back to here. Oh, sorry, I'm not zoomed out enough. Oh, the stone castle. Yeah, in this corner where the steps are. Yes. You see someone sitting. Okay. I will... And uh, not taking part, it would seem. Is it the other Rahadumi? It's... If you want to take a closer look... I do. Uh, so I, I'll move a little closer then. You turn... I mean, it's, it's slightly obscured by the mask and slightly in shadow. But if you take a closer look, you can see uh, Dutch. He seems to be sat with his back against the wall, his legs straight, and he's just, like, almost looking down at Uh-oh. the floor in front of him. Uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh. Then I will approach. Um, okay. Dutch, to your feet. I've, I've got a sneaking suspicion I'm not going to get a response, but... <laughs> <laughs> No response. No answer. No answer. Okay. Well, I'll go closer and I'll I will inspect him. As you kneel down, perhaps you reach for his head, <laughs> pull it back slightly, and as you do, you reveal one of the manticore spikes has sunk and very deeply right in the nape of his ah. neck. Can I and check for obviously pierced his windpipe? Can Ouch. I check for a pulse? You can. Um, wait a minute. Let me just roll a medicine check. Oh shit! <laughs> Nothing. Uh, well, I mean, what, I'm, ge- dead. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is. You have been dead for days. <laughs> uh, I am going to. Shout for Sendara, but as I'm shouting, I will put my hand over where the uh, spike has impaled him. And as I pull the spike out, I will cast uh, my cure wounds on him. Okay. Which is a six. Pull out the spike. Perhaps you were expecting like a spurt of blood, but... Nothing actually comes. Oh. You quickly raise your other hand. You cast your spell. But nothing happens. Shit. Okay. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, Oh, shit. (laughs) So. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. As always, you can catch up on the campaign so far, either by joining us on YouTube or listening to our podcasts, which are available on just about everywhere you can listen to a podcast. We are, uh, as always, on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where you can find us under TNT Nerds. I guess all that's left to say is see you next time. Don't be a dick. Oh, come Don't on. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. <laughs> oh, Sean. Hey. Oh. Sean. How morose. Sean. The music. The oh, death no. of Dutch. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I guess. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>